Dude, it seems bigger than a normal egg, doesn't it? It seems way bigger than like a chicken egg. And it's like... Good morning, guys. It is early in the morning, if you can't tell by my bags. Just woke up less than an hour ago. So we're gonna get in, see if we can find some cool stuff. All right, guys, here we go. Is that a chicken egg or a reptile egg? I don't know. It looks like translucent. It might just because it's soaked up in some water. But that thing is like weird looking. Yeah, maybe you think it's a snake egg? You think it's a snake egg? I have no idea. Dude, it seems bigger than a normal egg, doesn't it? It seems way bigger than like a chicken egg. And it's like got a weird like yellow. Yeah. Let us know in the comments if you're like an egg expert, but this thing has a weird undertone of like yellow. Like it could just because it's been soaking in the water. Let's see if it's hard boiled. You can test it. <laughs> no, that's not hard boiled. If it was hard boiled, it just keeps spinning. It right? would just keep spinning, but it's not spinning. It's it's a fresh egg. And who brings a fresh egg on the river? I'm gonna I'm gonna put this back because if it's a reptile egg or something, I want it to have a nice long life. Check it out, dude. Oh, JBL's good. This might be waterproof. Yeah, I'm hoping, dude. That'd be sweet. I don't really hear water inside. So you just leave it closed and then you can check when you get back. Yeah.
Here I go down the chute. Hey, I noticed, uh, notice you're getting a little chapped. <laughs> <laughs> I also found some Ray-Bans, dude. Really? Yeah. <laughs> We're done, you guys, and it's only 9.30 a.m. And we got some good stuff. We're gonna go Hampton's pile first. Man. Personally, these green ones, those are fun. Shiny boys. <laughs> Shiny boys. Is that what they're called nowadays? I, I have no idea. <laughs> Gonna throw that in the recycling bin. Got a bunch of sunglasses, as always. Got some Ozark trails here. Let's see if these do the trick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Yeah, and now I can drive home and not burn my corneas with this sunrise. This pair of dive goggles. It seems like I always find a pair of these. Got a lighter. I bet you this thing will light up once it dries out. Yeah, still a little wet. Once it dries out a little bit. I did find this pair of Ray-Bans, y'all. Check Ooh. this out. Pretty sweet, guys. <laughs> 10 cents. I got myself a JBL speaker. I'm hoping this thing is waterproof. Let's see if this thing turns on. It still works. Did you hear that? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, I'm turning it off so I can make sure it's dry before it fries. That thing works. JBL. That was down to the entire rest of the dive, too. That yeah, that was is... the first find of the day, right? Yeah. So this has been underwater for how long ago it was dropped. And then for the rest of the dive, it was underwater with me. And now it is turned on. So, And my best find of the day was this jar of Carmex. Oh, yes. Nice and supple. Shoot. That smells fresh, too. In case you were worried about me, I'm not going to use it. But uh, that smell... Mmm, takes me back. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up down below and make sure to subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next dive. Bye bye. See ya. Gotta watch out for that wildlife out here, guys. <laughs>